On the 6th of November, almost 200 countries are set to gather in Egypt's resort town of Sharm El Sheikh to tackle climate change at COP27. On an annual basis, COP meetings focus international attention on the climate crisis and responses to it. We hear about climate change all the time, but often the conversation seems so far removed from our everyday reality. But it is critical for us to understand that the negative impacts of climate change on our daily lives are much closer than we potentially think. So what exactly is climate change? Climate change refers to the long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns that threaten the life-sustaining conditions of our planet. Since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas. Burning fossil fuels generates greenhouse gas emissions that act like a blanket wrapped around the earth, trapping the sun's heat and raising temperatures. Examples of greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change include carbon dioxide and methane. These gases come from sources like using petrol or diesel, using fossil fuel-based electricity for heating and cooling, and from things like landfills. Climate change is contributing to increased extreme weather events like hurricanes, flooding, heat waves and droughts. It is also accelerating the melting of sea ice and glaciers, leading to global sea level rise. Today, 1% of our planet is too hot to support human life. But within the next 50 years, almost 20% of the planet could suffer the same fate, which would lead to mass migration. It's alarming to think that by 2050, it is estimated that there will be over 200 million climate refugees. This November, faced with a growing energy crisis, record greenhouse gas concentrations, and increasing extreme weather events, COP27 will be aiming for renewed commitment from almost 200 attending countries in order to deliver on climate justice for people and for planet. We need less talk and more action as we are running out of time with the climate emergency.